Good Monday morning. I've been praying scripture for a long time. Uh, Hebrews 4.12 says that the Word of God is living and active and sharper than any double-edged sword, dividing between joint and marrow, flesh and spirit, able to judge the thoughts and intents of the heart. And I've always just seen it as when I'm praying scripture, like that it's just moving around. It's just like doing its job and going all up into that situation or going all up into my heart and doing whatever it needs to do. Second Timothy 3.16 says, all scripture is God breathed. That word breathe over and over translated in Greek is the word the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the author of all scripture. That's why it's so powerful. So through the years, I have prayed scripture. So this, for instance, is front and back page of scriptures I have prayed for my bonus kids from the first year Philly and I got married. Isaiah 54, 13, all of your children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be their peace. That's one of the scriptures that I've prayed for years and years and years for them and others, but they're personal to me. So that's the only one I'm going to share with you. I have seen God do so much. And every time I pray these scriptures, it's like my faith meets the word. And when my faith meets the word, God is active in that word. That word is living and active. And scripture says it will accomplish what it was set forth to do. That's what Isaiah 11, I believe says that the word will accomplish what it was set forth to do and succeed in all that it has promised. That's why I don't wanna spend a lot of time uh, praying my words. There's so much more power in praying scripture. I have scriptures I pray for fear because that is one of my greatest battles. I have spiritual warfare scriptures because we live in a combat zone. I have scriptures that I pray for my marriage and for um, Philly. And I have scriptures I pray for me, and I have scriptures I pray over the promises that I feel like God has given us. So, in this season, when we're being reminded that our heart lives in a war zone, one of the greatest weapons that we have is the Word of God. This week, I encourage you to think about some areas that you really wanna focus on in prayer. Maybe you're struggling with your faith. Maybe you are uh, you feel depressed or despondent. Maybe you're angry. Maybe you're uh, suffering from shame. Maybe you're uh, controlling because of your fear. Or maybe you need to pray for your children or your spouse or the job that you've lost. I encourage you to dig into scripture, write it down, and begin to speak the word over your situation. Scripture says he watches over his word to perform it. He wants to perform his word in our lives. This is not hocus pocus. The righteous shall live by faith, right? The word increases our faith to believe the word. So if you need more faith to believe the word, start praying the word. Get your paper. Get your scriptures, walk your floor, sit in your chair, kneel at your desk, pray it in your car, tape it on your mirror. It is living and active and it will accomplish what it was set forth to do. If your heart was encouraged today, please know that we have many other resources available for you. You can discover all of those at reclaiminghearts.org.